Hello guys, I just wanted to do a quick share with you what a nightmare today has been 3D printing these parts. All I need to finish the ethos off are these two buttons here. Now these are the buttons that go on the end of this push rod. They go through to the push button at the end and they attach here. I'm trying to print them in two colours. We've got the black bases and then we've got the white writing on top. Look, look the white writing on top. Black base, no problem. When it comes to white writing, the text, it's going horribly wrong. Either the nozzle blocks, it's happened about four times today, or I get a big, horrible, bully mess on the first letter. Now, it's just hit me now that perhaps if I print two of these, so I print four in total and waste the first two and get rid of the blob out of the way so it starts extruding properly, that might actually fix it. I've got one on the go now, so it'll be the last attempt at what I'm currently doing, which is a filament change halfway through the process on level 37. Let's head out to the workshop and see how it's going. I've been out there about, no word of a lie, 20 to 30 times today trying to get this right. What a nightmare, let's head out. So here we are guys, in the workshop. We've got both end of threes working and uh, ready for a filament change here. Let me spin you around. Let me do a filament change. I already know it's gonna go horribly wrong. We're gonna give it a go anyway. Okay, here we go. I'll bring you in for a closer look. You two can watch the disaster live. Yet another fail. There was the one from previous where you can see the C is good but the T and the F are just all blobbed out. And this time, I can only guess that I didn't extrude enough white because it's gone all black. I'm gonna go back inside, increase the height so we've got more definition of the white on the black, and then create a dummy one so you can blob out on the dummy one and then create the text correctly after that. That's the theory of temp number 27. We're gonna head back inside First of all, I just need to grab the SD card and we'll copy the design to the SD card once we've, once we've updated it. Oh, did I mention it's late o'clock here at night? In we go. So this is going to be a much longer print, but if it works, who cares? So while the first printer prints out those knobs, I've just realised that this ender has also failed. The print quality looks awful, and it should have paused printing for the text. It's gone wrong, I've got to stop it four hours into the print, it's nearly finished. Oh uh, well, another time to try something, I'm not having a good day today. I'm gonna to have to try something out. It just looks bad. I'm gonna to have to go in and adjust that as well. Bugger. It's only taken eight hours, eight and a half hours to get this far, but I can already tell three of them are looking quite good. I really hope I don't jinx it at this point right now. We have got that one that is definitely sacrificial and it's the horrible blobby one to be expected, but now we know how to produce that and get decent results for the rest of them, this could be for this could be a winner. Oh, this really could be a winner. No! Oh, oh! That'll do. That will do, Donkey. Let me show you what we've got. For a second there, I thought we printed in black again, but no, we are white, and I think. Here we go. Okay, so you can see the first two are sacrificial, they're the lower ones. And then when we go to the top two, and when you see these top two here, there we go. They look much better. Let's pull these off and see actually how they look. Let me put them in the ephis and let's see what they look like. 
So they have turned out finally really well. I now know what I think is the secret to producing fine print, dual colour, perfect text on light flow panels. I'll catch you later guys. That's it for tonight. Sim out.